my son don't even know that I'm not his biological daddy. Shit, I didn't even know until two years after he was born that I wasn't his biological daddy because when my son was born, when I was in that delivery room with y'all Queen Toy and my son was shown to us and I saw how bright my son was. I asked y'all Queen Toy, hey, you know, what's up with this? You know, why my son so bright? And y'all Queen Toy words was, well, I guess we got one that looked like me and one that looked like you that took after you. Because, you know, my daughter has never been bright a day in her life. She always been chocolate just like me. And I know my genes strong. You know, that's my only kid, but I feel in my heart if I was to actually make another kid, that kid going to be chocolate too. Instantly. Don't have to get no color. Come out with color. Because that's how my daughter came out. My first born. My only born. Even though I have two kids. But. Y'all Queen Toy told me. You know, hey. It's no possibility anybody else can be his daddy. I haven't been with nobody else but you. There's no possibility anybody else can be his daddy. And I had one little voice in my head saying at that time, you know, take a DNA test and see for sure. And, but that other voice in my head was saying, hey, hey, man, you know, that's your man. She goes into story mode. Now, mind you, y'all Queen Toy was in love with the Chrysler 200. Oh, when that Chrysler 200 came out in 2011, oh, man, she wanted that car so bad. She was in love with that car. So, now, she comes with this story. Okay, okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, When I was working at Kroger's, one night, I spent the night at my co-worker house, and me and your daughter was sleeping in the living room on the floor, and... Her brother came in with one of his friends and he started feeling on me. And I told him, no, don't do that right here because my daughter's asleep. You know, I don't want to wake up my daughter. You know, just let me get up. And I went outside with them and he put me in the back of his Chrysler 200. Now, did y'all get that? The Chrysler 200. That's the only car, first car that came to her mind because that's her favorite car. And that was still her favorite car at this time. This Chrysler, so she, he put her in the back of this Chrysler 200 and his friend held her down while he raped her. But she didn't tell nobody because supposedly he was this big time drug dealer and she didn't want him to shoot up her parents' house. Hmm. Big time drug dealer. And you don't want him to shoot up your parents' house because supposedly 
he did some other stuff that she knew about. Hmm. Really? But now, this dude is supposedly was locked up. She got him locked up and they supposed to let her know when he get out, if he ever get out. Now, we married and I ain't heard shit about you going to no court. None of this. So, when did you go to court for this rape or any of this? Like, damn. That wasn't important enough to be mentioned because it didn't happen. That's all that was. Like, come on, man. I'm not Willie really Fufu. I don't even know if I was born that night, but I know for sure I wasn't born last night. Like, come on, man. Now, at that hospital, when you had my little man, and I asked you that question, the answer was, it's no possibility that anybody else can be his daddy because I haven't been with nobody else. Nah, you didn't, you didn't think that if you got raped that that would have been a time to tell me? Because it would have, but seeing that you didn't get raped, that's why you didn't tell me at that time. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. But I'm making this video right now. Like I say, it's like 3, 7 in the morning. It might be like 4 o'clock now. But... Whenever this video does get back around to my kids, because I know it is, I just want my kids to know that, hey, man, daddy love y'all to death. You know, my little man, even though I'm not biological daddy, in my heart, hey, I'm daddy. Like, I'm all you know, and... He all I know. Like, I wouldn't change that for the world. Even though y'all Queen Toy has drove, has drove such a big wedge in between the relationship between me and my kids. But I know with prayer and everything, me continuing to keep God first, just like he healing me physically, he healing me and bringing me through this testimony that I'm going through, this test, this trial that I'm going through right now, I know for sure he going to fix that relationship with my kids. You know, I know this is, this is just a storm that I'm passing through. I know this storm shall pass. But in the meantime, I'm going to make it known what I'm going through and I'm going to rectify this situation so that when I come through, it's made very clear what I went through. But that's all I got for y'all this morning. You know, I'm about to try to get me some more sleep. You know, I want to, you know, thank everybody that's subscribed to my little channel. You know, and another thing, um, Damien Choir, you know, the Choir family guy, he didn't put me up to this. You know, this is all me. You know, I don't even know dude like that. So, that little rumor that's floating around, hey, that's false. That's, that's fake news. Whew, you thought I was joking? That tea was flaming hot, guys. I'll be going live later, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know exactly when I'm live so we can discuss this tea. Drop me a comment also and let me know if you believe Creole Bay that she was abused or if you believe the ex-husband that Creole Bay is full of stuff anything other than just the love and light that she's been feeding us all right guys and stay tuned there's more to come peace